Oh my god, hello! Okay, so, yes, I am chilling in my kitty robe to hide my Hello Kitty. Um, I did just get out of the shower, got ready, but I just realized that I filmed this whole entire makeup without making an intro. Because we all know how my intros go. Awkward is the word. the new foundation which I'm so late on I'm never late on anything and I'm never late well except for the past couple months but <laughs> damn BC now this is in 315 and this is in 350 because um, I don't know I like my foundation kind of light and I just kind of like to use my foundation powder to you know kind of blend it a little just gonna get straight to the video however I do have to warn you <laughs> My eyebrows are kind of crazy. I was taking off my makeup with baby wipes and usually I try to go around my eyebrows because I don't want to have to do my eyebrows again. But then, um, yeah, a lot more came off than I thought. So I'm going to point it out first. So, ha! So, excuse me, my hair ray. Um, I didn't even bother, like, straightening it. I, I just came back from the gym. I'm feeling spicy today. Ooh, mama! <laughs> I just did a hair tutorial. If you want to know more about my braids, I have one doing it in my car. I have a video on doing my braid in the car. Click down below. Um, I don't have any face makeup on because I am just chilling in my tea. I got my G's on. I got my B on. In the daytime, I try to keep it as natural as possible. Um, you, you know, cake it up, but still kind of look natural. And right now, you can see all of the discolorations on my face. I do have black circles and, you know, disproportionate, uneven face. And I also have some blotches. I'm not using any kind of, like, you know, drugstore brushes, but I just kind of have a variety of brushes here. This is by Maybelline. Never tried this foundation. I'm about to take your I use the Stipping Ling brush number, um, got washed away. This is by MAC and I love it because I love to always use a stippling brush first because it just kind of, it like applies evenly on your face. And then you just, you know, start moving it in a circular motion, like that, on your nose, under your eyes, never in your eyes. And you just want to keep stroking it slowly in areas you want to cover. That is all of it, hopefully. I don't work with what looks good on me. I work with what's good for my skin. You gotta treat your skin like it's a relationship. You gotta balance out. Okay, so, I'm going to buff this out. When you buff it out, it just kind of puts in that extra effort, you know? Feels nice. A little oily on the nose there, but you know, that always happens. Although it does feel dewy on the face. It feels like somebody sprayed you like a bad kitty kit. After foundation, I usually would normally put concealer, but we're looking all right today, so. I don't need it. Target I went to was kind of ghetto because everything in their makeup aisle was all like somebody like ran through it and like robbed stuff. I never put more powder than my foundation. This is just kind of like a little slight touch, just kind of like you're dusting, you know, like that little mini dust. But yeah, that is the fitness stuff. Very good review. I want to put in my Pelodia rice powder. I just put it on my T-zone, just in areas where I get really oily, which is my nose, my chin. Everything me. And so that is my daytime makeup touch. Yeah, I hope to do more of these kinds of videos where I can like buy a product and then try it out right then and there and give you guys like a first hand review. Hey, if I don't like Alma and I choose to go with Elf, I'ma tell you. Thank you guys for watching my videos and I will see you soon. What if I told